Okay, so get ready, you guys, because this deep dive uh, today is a wild one. You sent us this YouTube video essay, and let me tell you, it's got everybody talking about P. Diddy and all these rumors. Oh, really? Yeah, it's juicy. Okay, I'm intrigued. So this essay, it's actually like a reaction to another video about Diddy, and it goes deep, like really deep. It gets into like power dynamics and how we see male celebrities. And like right away, they jump into all this stuff about Diddy's parties. They call it like puffy flavor camp. And even just hearing that term is like, whoa. Yeah, it makes you think. Right. Like it suggests this calculated thing. That's calculated and exploitative. Exactly. And especially toward these young guys trying to make it, you know, in the music biz. It's like that age old story, the casting couch, but with a different spin. Totally. And it gets even more interesting when they bring up specific examples. Like there's this one clip. It's Diddy with a young Justin Bieber, like super young. And... Diddy is gifting him a car, but then he uses the word custody. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the essayist really latches onto that moment. I can see why. Like it's this really loaded term, right? Yeah. Okay. And they connect it to this broader pattern they see with Diddy. They talk about Tevin Campbell. Oh, yeah. I remember him huge in the 90s. Exactly. Had that song of the Ty Prince movie soundtrack. Yes. Well, he was also rumored to have been involved with Diddy mm. back when he was a teenager, too. Mm. I see where this is going. Yeah. So it's like the essayist is building this timeline. Oh, interesting. Using all these different stories, whether they're true or not. Yeah. But they use them to kind of paint this picture of Diddy's alleged behavior. And it sounds like it spans decades. It really does. I mean, this is something that comes up again and again, right? Not just with Diddy, but in Hollywood in general. For sure. It's like this open secret. Mm -hmm. But what I think is really important is that the essayist, they call out the elephant in the room. The homophobia. Yeah, how we talk about these rumors, how we perceive them. Exactly. They make this really good point. They're like, imagine if Diddy were a woman. Oh, that's interesting. Right. And she was doing this with like young female artists. Would we be reacting the same way? Probably not. Exactly. Like, would it be all hush hush and <laughs> jokes or would it be like this huge scandal? Yeah. Predatory career ending stuff. Exactly. And that's what's so messed up, right? It's like we have this double standard when it comes to male sexuality, especially in certain genres like hip hop. Absolutely. There's still so much homophobia in those spaces. And the essayist is trying to challenge that, mm -hmm. which they do in this really interesting way. Great. Humor. I love that. Me too. It's so smart. Like there's this one part where they play this clip. It's Diddy with French Montana. Right. And they're talking about like wrestling over Frosted Flakes. Okay. And that's just weird. Right. It's so bizarre. And kind of hilarious. Totally. And the essayist's reaction is hilarious too. Like they're laughing, but also like what the... Yeah. It's that should I be laughing feeling. Yes. And that's the thing. The humor, it makes you pay attention, but it also makes you think like, wait, am I allowed to laugh at this? And that ties into this whole other issue that the essayist talks about, the ethics of like making money off these stories. Oh yeah. That's a big one these days. Right. Like, even if you're presenting it as commentary or critique, are you still exploiting these situations? Especially if the rumors aren't even true. It's a tough one for sure. And speaking of tough, we have to talk about the Usher incident. Okay. I'm all yours. So the essayist presents this as basically an open secret in the industry. The claim is that Diddy and Usher had a sexual encounter. Okay. And that it led to Usher being hospitalized. Wow. Yeah, and they say it's like this unspoken thing that everyone knows about, but nobody talks about. I can see how that would be the case. But we do have to be careful here because the essay doesn't give any proof. Mm. And Usher himself has never actually confirmed it. Right. But even as a rumor, it just brings up all these uncomfortable questions about power. Like at the time, Usher was signed to Bad Boy Records, which is Diddy's label. Yeah, so he had all the power. Exactly. And speaking out against someone like Diddy. That could have been career <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. So you have to wonder how many stories like this are out there. Silenced by fear. Exactly. <laughs> totally. It's like this whole hidden world. And what's so fascinating to me is how the essayist <laughs> takes these shocking anecdotes. Yeah, like the Frosted Flakes, the Usher thing. Exactly. And they weave them into this larger narrative about the entertainment industry itself. It's like they're saying this isn't just about Diddy. Right. It's about the system that allows this to happen. The system that protects abusers. Exactly. And as we go deeper into this essay. It gets even darker. Oh, yeah. Just wait until you hear what else they uncover. Yeah. It's wild, right? Like, the deeper we get into this Diddy essay, it's not even just about him anymore. It's like, it makes you think about the whole picture. You know, you know what you mean? Like, well, what's our responsibility as viewers in all of this? Right. Because it's easy to get caught up in the drama. Totally. 
But like you said, there are real consequences. Exactly. And the essayists, they actually talk about that tension. Like even they're making content off of this stuff. Which could be really damaging. Exactly. And they even say they're not sure if it's ethical. Yeah, that's a huge debate right now. Like, especially online. It really is. Like, where do you draw the line? Yeah, where is that line? Nobody seems to know. It's messy. Totally. But I do think it's at least good that we're talking about it. 100% awareness is key. And what I find so interesting is how they use Diddy as like this case study to look at these bigger societal issues. Like what specifically? Well, like the exploitation of young talent, especially Mm -hmm. in the music industry. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. And it's something that doesn't get talked about enough. Like, it's almost accepted. It's like this unspoken rule. Exactly. That you have to pay your dues. But those dues shouldn't involve being taken advantage of. Exactly. And it's not just the music industry either. Oh, absolutely not. It's everywhere. Like, any field where you have these huge power imbalances (laughs) between the people at the top and the ones trying to break in. Yeah. It's like that old saying, it's who you know. Oh, it's so frustrating. And then you add in celebrity and the media. Oh my God, but don't even get me started. It becomes a circus. And suddenly it's impossible to tell what's true and what's not. So true. And the essayist brings up this other point about how celebrity gossip, it's kind of like modern mythology. What an interesting way to put it. Right. Tell me more. Like we have these larger than life figures, right? Right. These titans, these icons. Yeah, and the rumors about them, they become like folklore almost. Mm -hmm. Passed down and embellished. Through whispers and blind items. And Instagram comments. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just like ancient myths. These stories, they say more about us than they do about the actual celebrities. Hmm. That's deep. Right. So what are we really looking for when we buy into these narratives? That's a question, isn't it? Maybe validation. Possibly. Or maybe we're just trying to make sense of it all. I think you're right. Like fame, power, money, it's all so seductive. And destructive. Yeah, totally. And maybe by gossiping about it, we think we can understand it better or at least feel less threatened by it. Control the narrative. Exactly. And what's brilliant about this essay is that it doesn't give any easy answers. It just makes you think exactly. It's like they're saying, here's all this juicy gossip. Yeah. But also, here's what it says about our culture about how we view power and success. And about how we treat each other. Exactly. Especially those who are vulnerable. So as we head into the final part of this essay. Things are about to get real. They do. Like, do they offer any solutions? Yeah. Any ways to navigate this world of celebrity gossip more consciously? Or are we just left to our own devices? That's the big question. That's kind of crazy, right? Like, we started with these rumors about Diddy and his parties. And now we're talking about, like, the fabric of society. I agree. Like, this essay, it's gone from zero to 60. The essayists did that. They really did. And you know what I think is so smart? Is that they acknowledge the fact that we all love a little gossip. Oh, 100%. Like, let's be real. We're only human. We're drawn to drama. Except. Especially when it involves people like Diddy. Right. Like, it's that whole peek behind the curtain. I've ever been fruit. And it can be fun. Oh, absolutely. Like, it's entertainment. The guilty pleasure. Totally. But I think what the essayists does so well is remind us that even though it seems harmless, it can actually be really harmful. Yeah, like words have power. Exactly. Like when we just accept these rumors without questioning them, we become part of the problem. We become the rumor mill. And we contribute to this culture where people are silenced. Especially those without power. Exactly. And I think that's the big takeaway here. Responsibility. Woo. I like that. Right. Tell me more. Like we have a responsibility to be more critical. Of the things we read, the things we share. Exactly. And also a responsibility to remember that these are real people's lives. 100%. Like behind all the gossip and the headlines, there's a human being who's being affected by this. It's easy to forget that. So where do we go from here? That is the question. Do we like swear off all celebrity gossip forever? I mean, I don't know if that's realistic. Probably not. But maybe. Maybe we can at least be more mindful. I love that. Mindful gossiping. Right? Like think before you share. Question your sources. Exactly. And remember, these stories might be entertaining, but they can also be incredibly damaging. Couldn't have said it better myself. (laughs) This has been such a thought-provoking deep dive. You guys really brought the heat with this essay suggestion. Glad you liked it. Seriously, this is why I love doing this show. It's like we start with something so simple, and then we end up in these deep philosophical discussion. The best kind of conversation. It really is. Yeah. So thank you for coming along for the ride. And remember, stay curious 
Deep Divers. 